Watson. Professor? Commander? How was the captain? We don't know, sir. The doctor's with him now. We haven't had any report on him since early this morning. I think we'd better go up. I don't think I should leave him, Dr. Howard. But there's nothing more you can do for well, him. That's just it. Nothing seems to help him. You've been treating him since we left Panama, and, and he's worse. My dear girl. Oh, I, I don't mean to say that you haven't done all you can, Doctor, but medicine can't cure his mind. Hello, Doctor. How is he today? Morning as rational as you or I. But now, I don't understand it. Unlike any mental case I have ever seen. And there are times when he keeps muttering Professor Grimm's name to himself. I don't like it, sir. Well, it's probably overworked. Captain Holling hasn't had a vacation in years. Just the same, I would advise that you relieve him of command on this trip, Mr. Watson. When the Guthrie needs him more than it ever did? You were going to meet me ashore for dinner last night. He was very bad, Cliff. I couldn't leave him. Was Downey a patient, too? You had dinner on board with him. What difference does it make? It's too bad it's mute me. What? Taking a poke at your first officer. Idiot. Of course, Lila. If I've got to wait till I get a chief's berth before I get a break. Oh, you're talking like a child, Cliff. Well, I know you haven't given me any time lately. Still, Abe. What is it, Captain? I don't know. But it's... It's here. Like the engines pounding. Well, I'll be all right. Don't you think you ought to go away for a rest? Do your world of good, Captain. The vacation's just what you need. Huh. So that you're gonna have my ship, eh? I've been watching you, always waiting your chance to take her away from me. No, no, Captain. Downey's right. You need a rest. Then you will wait before making Professor Grimson's experiment? Well, I'm afraid we've gone too far for that. You mean that you'd let my ship go to sea without me? It will only be for one voyage. What? You can't do that. Why, for 20 years, we've been together. I've nursed her through storms, lived with her. Why, well, all that you ever did was to build her. But she's not your ship. She's mine. And now you think that she can run without me, eh? Without anyone, Captain Holling. You're not going through with it. Gentlemen, please. You, you'll never live to do it. You won't live to... Oh. Miss King, please. Uh, Daddy? I'll be all right. Come on, Captain. Daddy? Yes, I... You let me. I'll be all right. Daddy? Yes, I'll be all right. Give me a glass of water, Miss Kane. Perhaps you gentlemen will leave me alone with him. I'll arrange to send him to a sanitarium, Mr. Watson. I'm sorry we waited this long. Thank you. I'd give anything in the world if this hadn't happened. It's up to you now, Captain Downey. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the honor, but... It isn't easy to accept it under these circumstances. In his right mind, he'd want you to carry on. You and Rogers. You'll take down his place as chief mate. Well, thank you, sir. I have every confidence in both of you.
You understand, gentlemen, that what you are about to see must remain a secret. Yes, sir. Captain Downey, you sail tomorrow as usual. At nine o'clock, when the Guthrie is at sea, it will be operated by Professor Grimson from his laboratory. My work is finished, Watson. It is now up to S-505. What is S-505? The uh, tube controls the energy which will operate it by radio. It's uncanny, Professor. It's science. Watson, don't forget to install this telescope in the cabin so that you can keep in constant contact with the laboratory. That's all arranged for. Can't you get their wavelength? I'm trying to, Your Excellency. There. I think I've got them. Right. Shh. They're testing S505. Is that what you get? Right, Your Excellency. If S-505 will do everything that you say it will, it will control the sea. Radio-controlled battleships and submarines would have won the World War in the first year. Its future possibilities are inconceivable if it succeeds. Give me the combination now, Mr. Watson. When S-505 is returned to that room before you sail tomorrow, it won't be necessary for a human being to set his foot in that room again. Not even you, Captain. How is he? He's better. Dr. Howard has made arrangements for him to go to the sanitarium. It's an honor to be of the slightest assistance to you, Professor. Thank you, sir. Well, see you tomorrow, Downey. Yes. Jim 
Holmes, what do you want up here? Captain Norling, sir. Is he any better? No, Sims. He's been relieved. You can go back to your cabin job. I'm master of the ship now. Yes, sir. Too bad, sir. What are you trying to do? Trying to make a bowl in a bite, sir. Here. Make yourself a necktie. Sailor would think of this way to strangle a man. Has he no idea who attacked him? Uh, no, he, he was sleeping in the next room when he heard someone in here. He put on his robe, but before he had the time to turn on the lights, the, the rope was around his neck. Uh, that's all he remembered. There's nothing I can do for Professor Grimson. His neck is broken. He may live for hours or die while Major Pope is questioning him. This, uh, Major Pope, just who is he? Oh, uh, he's a private investigator that Professor Grimson has known for some time. You see, the professor didn't want to call in the police. Did you anticipate this attack? For a long time, I felt that I had been followed. You're convinced that your assailant was after the tube that you call S-505. Did he get it? 